Mia Marcano, from Pembroke Pines, Florida, was a remarkable young woman. Her dazzling smile and kind heart were treasured by many. She was a sweetheart who always knew what to say, had beautiful style, and what the latest online trends were. Mia studied sports medicine in college. She enrolled at a community college in Orlando, Florida, and was determined to reach her goals, but sadly she would never get the chance. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories. September 24, 2021 was a wonderful day for Mia. She was ecstatic to be able to go home and see her family, but Mia went silent a few hours before her trip. Her phone was turned off and she couldn't be reached. While this was concerning enough, her family became much more concerned when they discovered Mia had not boarded her flight. They knew how eager she was to get home and she had no possibility of missing her flight. Something was wrong and Mia's family was immediately worried. Mia's mother phoned the Orange County Sheriff's Office to report her concerns about her daughter. A police officer visited the apartment complex to perform a welfare check on Mia. According to reports, the officer discovered nothing out of place. He then left, taking no further action. Meanwhile, Mia's family was frightened. Mia had not yet spoken with them, and they were unaware of her whereabouts. So, in the early morning hours of September 25, 2021, they decided to formally report her as missing. Additionally, the family traveled to Orlando, whereupon they recognized the enormity of the problem. When the cops arrived at the apartment complex, they discovered that Mia was being stalked by a maintenance worker. Armando Caballero, 27, was harassing Mia with filthy texts and strange advances, which her family and friends were aware of. Caballero had regularly shown romantic interest in Mia, but she always rejected him. Kylie Sue, Mia's cousin, said Armando was obsessed and infatuated with Mia and that he constantly texted her despite Mia's evident disinterest. Sue said that Mia expressed her discomfort with Caballero's advances and conduct to at least two of her friends. Armando acknowledged wanting to date Mia when questioned by the police. When she rejected him, he said that he moved on. He stated that he had no misgivings or ill sentiments for Mia and that he considered her a friend. He said he was there in the middle of the night to assist in her search. But no one knows Tati. Mind you me, keep man, mentioning Tati. You live 20 no minutes away from Tati. here. You get a call the all of a sudden. The roommates don't even know Tati. You've been sleeping since you 10 o'clock. And Tati all of a sudden you're showing up here at 4 o'clock in the morning looking me and for me. Tati were conversating about it until I finally they came okay, up. But Should Tati I go and see if someone... I see anything? No one knows Tati. That's my whole thing. Not Tati even the roommate knows Tati. Here. She's you an employee, but you keep saying Tati is a friend and that you've all hung out together. No one here knows Tati. All her other friends showed up. Her These closest people. friends that live in the complex were all here with us early on. No one knows Tati. Only you. Whoever Tati is and Tati's on the phone, she shouldn't even be on the phone right now. As of right now, you, you have sent tomorrow, obsessive tomorrow, texts Tati. to Mia. We have all seen the texts. You talked about giving her your life savings. You cash out her money and you claim that you weren't in touch. Her it's her on text. Savings. I never As said a matter of fact, we're going to get a police report to pull your phone records if that's the case. Um, there's evidence of, of obsession of some you're fascinated with it's me it's not only from my side so don't try to make this no one like no one's saying that it takes she's so not here to defend herself right obviously now obviously so she's missing you. so we're talking to and you I who've been going back and forth that. on time that, right, that so is your family right but until we figure out what's going on, just don't beat me up. Nobody no one's beating you up. If I'm guilty, why well, you, would you I put come yourself here? in the middle right here. You brought yourself over here. Because we're concerned. You're concerned. Why weren't you concerned hours ago? I just found out. All right, cool, no problem. So in the first so few how did, hours, how did Tati find out? We didn't think it was serious. I don't even know how Tati found oh, out. Somebody's missing me. and you don't think it's serious. Someone maybe that they hanging out. Uh, they got this place right here. They go downtown. I don't know. Maybe her phone's off. I don't know what she did. She would use somebody's phone and call her dad I could, or her grandmother, somebody. She, would she was supposed to show up for a flight sure. and didn't show up. Not Armando was not detained despite Mia's family's pleas. There was no evidence against Armando, as a result, he was released. Although the police inquired about Armando, they did not concentrate on him at the time. An officer explained to her family that there was no reason to keep Armando and that they couldn't work on a suspicion. That statement shocked the family. When every second counts, the cop dragged his feet. 
Mia's family was angry and worried that the police and others would give up looking for their daughter. They were desperate for answers, but none were coming. Armando, on the other hand, was responsible for Mia's disappearance according to the family. They were dead set on bringing the cops' attention to their mistakes. The police reacted to a call from Mia's family on the morning of September 25, 2021. The family spotted Armando with Mia's pink blanket, a glove, and a backpack. In his front, the passenger side. New video shows a man who appears to match a description of Armando Caballero getting out of a car. A car that matches the description from police of Armando's. A blank, the blanket. Oh my god, that is my blanket. The man is seen carrying a blanket and a bag heading into a building. The blanket, family say, is Mia's. Think of yourself if you were in our shoes. If you saw that video and you saw Mia's blanket, how would you react? Mia's family says this video was shot the same morning Simone had a chilling encounter with Caballero. He said, are you looking for Mia? I said, who are you? He said, I'm the maintenance guy. I heard you're looking for me. The search for the 19-year-old is intensifying as large numbers of investigators arrive at Arden Villas. Residents even received this email about a search of their garages in storage units. One resident tells Fox 35 she had to move her car this morning to accommodate. It's been hectic. It's been scary. Everything that we've been seeing here just shows that we're not truly safe here. Mia's family says they've been receiving numerous tips from the community and law enforcement. They have searched several locations, including wooded and swampy areas, and they're not giving up. Today's that day where we got up upset. There hasn't been much crying at this point. We're just ready to bring her home, but we need everyone's help. The police walked through Armando's apartment briefly in response to the family's discoveries, but found nothing important. They didn't notice him suspicious till later that evening. Officers examined surveillance video from the apartment, Armando's keycard, and telephone records to determine what happened that fatal evening. Someone entered Mia's apartment using Armando's master key fob at 2.14 p.m. on September 24, 2021. Someone had used Armando's key fob to reopen Mia's room at 4.30 p.m., half an hour before her shift ended. Mia entered her apartment using her key at 5.06 p.m. Armando's automobile departed the property at 5.52 p.m. Someone filed a false maintenance call from Armando's phone at 7.02 p.m. Armando sought admission to the complex at the gate at 7.11 p.m. stating a maintenance call. He was allegedly constructing an alibi, according to the cops. The police wanted to interview Armando now that they had more damaging evidence against him. They promptly obtained a search warrant and discovered Armando dead, hanging in his garage, when they investigated his home. Armando Caballero had surrendered to his guilt by taking the easy way out. It was evident at this time that Armando had done something dreadful. Mia's family, on the other hand, clung to the slim possibility of finding their beloved Mia alive. To investigate the local water bodies, hiking paths, and woodland regions, authorities deployed helicopters, sniffing dogs, and diving teams. They were also checking for abandoned buildings, residences, and other places where he may have taken her prisoner. Unfortunately, Mia was not seen for many days. The body of Mia Marcano was discovered in October near a rundown apartment complex, bound with duct tape, after an intensive week-long search. Now at 7.02, a community is in mourning after officials in Orlando say they may have found the body of 19-year-old Mia Marcano. Mia had been missing since Friday of last week and loved ones have been gathering every day in both South and Central Florida to pray for her safe return. CBS 4's Ted Scouton reports on the news no one was hoping for. Hugging Mia Marcano's favorite teddy bear, her father leans on his family for strength. Clutching onto a poster filled with happy pictures of Mia, her aunt is devastated, along with the rest of the family, after getting the news that a body was found, and it appears to be Mia. I feel defeated. I feel like I failed my cousin. And I don't know how we're going to get through this. I miss my baby. And I wish, I wish she had come home today. Mia's cousin and godmother, like everyone else, is taking the news hard. It was around 10.45 in the morning when searchers made the grim discovery. We sent search teams out first thing this morning. Uh, and that's when they found uh, what we believe to be Mia. The body was found in Orlando, an overgrown brush amongst trash at a partially abandoned housing development called Timber Scan Apartments. 
Me and suspected killer Armando Caballero lived there once. Cell phone records uh, showed us that Caballero was in or near the Timberscan apartments on Friday evening between 8 and 9 o'clock. Uh, that's the evening that she was reported missing. Orange County Sheriff John Mina said phone records showed Caballero was traveling around three counties the night Mia disappeared. One of those places was in this thick wilderness in New Smyrna Beach, about 50 miles away. I do think that he was trying to throw authorities off the trail by, by going all over the place, by going up to New Smyrna Beach, maybe in an effort to, uh, you know, possibly get away with this before he, before he took his own life. We're broken. Our family isn't whole anymore. She was a baby, and they took her from us. Now family and friends are looking for ways to carry on without Mia. Her grandmother said she's found a little peace, even with such devastating news. I have to say, I thank God for bringing her to me. Because I said before, I wouldn't know what life would have been if I've never found her. I never know where she's at. And I pray and I ask and I thank God for bringing her to us. Her remains were discovered on October 2nd, five days after the apparent suicide death of her accused murderer, Armando Caballero. The family and supporters feel that Mia's case was not taken seriously and believe the family had to do everything, from gathering information to pressuring the cops, to perform their job believing that, if the authorities had been more aggressive, they may have arrested Armando and obtained the answers and justice he deserved. In the end, the killer got the easy way out with no culpability or repercussions. Which unfortunately does not provide closure to Mia's family. Mia's family strives to keep Mia's memory alive. They have a foundation that actively assists the vulnerable population and helps in the search for missing individuals. Additionally, the family promotes Mia's law in Florida. The legislation is intended to safeguard students, single moms, senior citizens, and apartment tenants. The legislation aims to increase the quality of background checks conducted on personnel who will have access to private residences, as well as the requirements for acquiring such access. The law has already been passed by the Florida legislature and is awaiting the governor's signature. The family thinks this rule will safeguard more than 2.8 million Floridians. Mia's law commemorates Mia and her passing. Mia's life was taken way too soon. Nothing can ease the pain that Mia's friends and loved ones have endured. My condolences to the family and all of those who loved Mia. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.